Okay. Here is set of eight for Thursday strength and stretch. We're going to start with an over, overhead dumbbell jumping jack to squat. So that means I'm going to pop my feet out while the weight comes overhead, back out of my chest, pressing my seat back into a squat. Okay, so jumping jack, squat. Then we've got a chin up hold, or under chin hold rather. And we're going to side lunge, one side at a time. Now we'll be on the mat for push ups. You're going to do as many push ups as you can. Regular, either that's on your toes or on your knees before you switch to just the negative push up, is just where you're lowering your body to the mat and then you get up however you need to. Um, and coming up for another negative push up. Then we've got uh, dumbbell swings to, strong, to squat thrusters. So those are going to look like this. One, guys. I'm just introducing on exercise four. Exercise four is dumbbell swing, popping up overhead to shoulders into a squat thruster. Okay, back down between my knees, swing up to my shoulders, squat. All right, then we've got side planks with a knee up. And then we've got planks with a knee up. And then we've got um, squat with a, with a knee up. I didn't even realize I did this. Then we've got squat with a cross knee up, but that's going to be hands and ears. Squat, knee up, squat, other knee up. And then we'll end on the mat with skull pressures. All right, so first exercise is overhead dumbbell jumping jack to squat. Quick demo, and I'll get the timer started. It went like this. Okay. All right, get warm, get awake. You've shown up for strength and stretch. It's all downhill from, from here today. Go. One more. Go. Break. 
Good, set that weight aside. We're just gonna start with a wide stance. Fold forward. Think about keeping a flat back as you hinge toward your left. To your right. To the center. Can you go deeper with that flat back? So keeping that flat back is going to deepen the stretch in your hamstrings and glutes. If you go ahead and let yourself hang down, you're obviously going to get lower to the ground and you'll probably start or still feel it through your hamstrings, but it's not as deep of a stretch this way. So you just alternate. Come over to your left. So you're hanging down now and then to your right. And then to the center. Plant your left hand. Reach your right fingertips up toward the ceiling. And then switch that out. Right hand on the ground, left hand up. Good, side lunge. Hit your inner thigh. Press over to the other side. Good, next exercise is gonna be a side lunge with a chin hold weight. Upright. So I guess I always call goblet hold if it's vertical. I go horizontal on a side lunge just because it feels like that I won't hit the weight into my knee. Great. Let's switch sides. Lost our soccer game in overtime last night, so uh, four three. That's a lot of points. That's a lot of goals for soccer game. Switch sides. Oh, so excuse my yawning. I think I'm going to yawn until November when this thing's all done. Oh, late nights. Good. Drive through your heel as you press up. Great. This way. Last one. Go. Last one. Um, 
here. And then as we switch to the mat, you won't need anything with you. We'll have a core, then we'll have our push ups, and then we'll have a stretch before we're back on our feet again. Break. Good. Back on your back on your mat, butterflies. Go. So my friend arrived in Orlando yesterday on a family trip, and she texted that they couldn't get off the plane because there was a naked man running around on the tarmac. So I never heard back, but I assume at some point she got to get off. Keep going. When we switch our core work, we're going to lay it flat on our back and just do an alternate knee up, so like the lower body part of the bicycle. Pressing your low back into the mat. Keep it up. About 20 seconds to go. You can do it. Great. All right, we're going to flip over for push ups. Of course, you can always take a wall or a bench if you need it. We're going to do as many as we can regular push ups. Go. Great. You're going to stay on either your toes or knees. You're going to stay whatever push up you're doing as long as you can go before you flip to just a negative push up. Okay, negative push ups are just when you let your body go down, but then you drop all the way to the floor before you get up. Great. Kind of takes some of the hard part out, allows you to modify, but keep working that same core muscles. Go. Great. Round four. Here we go. Go. Great. Two more. Go. Great. 
One more. Go. Great. Good work. All right, stay hands, knees. We're at cat and cow. Arch. Hands and knees, arch your back up to the ceiling. And then let your belly hang down. Arch your back. Forehead up. Oh, arch your back. All right, curve your spine, forehead up. All right, knees are hip width apart. You're going to plant your left hand right down in front of your forehead. Twist open with your right fingertips, pressing up to the ceiling. Ooh. So then you're going to thread the needle, take that hand under where your arm and your leg are, press down onto the mat. Roll that wrist out. You're gonna come back up to all fours, plant your right hand, wrist open left side. Good, roll that wrist out. Then go ahead and thread the needle. Wrist down on the mat. <sighs> Good. We are going to be on our feet. We're going to be on our feet again. You're going to grab a double or a set of dumbbells for those dumbbell swings to squat thrusters. Okay, so my side view here is kettlebell swing or dumbbell swing like that, and then up to overhead press. Great. Good work. Go. Great. Woo. Really thinking about those heels. Go. Break. Woo. Good job, halfway. Go. Great. I'm giggling at myself because I'm like, ooh, struggle a bit. Okay, two more. Go.
Great. Last one. Go. Ten seconds. Great, good. All right, we are on our side, side plank. We're going to draw our knee up. All right, press up to that side plank. The knee up could look like this, or you could just hold your side plank. Great. Yep. Go. Down three, we're switching sides again. Up. Break. Nip. Halfway there. Up. Great. One more each side. Then we've got a stretch. Up. Break. Last one. 
band or a towel for this next stretch. It is helpful sometimes to break, to loop that band around your foot. You're gonna lay flat on your back, draw your left knee up to your chest. I said left knee, left knee up to your chest. Go ahead and press that left knee out to the outside of your body, away from you. And then that left knee, let that left knee come across your body. First pressing into your shoulder or up toward your right shoulder. And then you can take that left knee across your body. Then keep your shoulder blades on the mat, deep in that spinal twist. All right, next part of the stretch is where if you've got a towel or your heaviest loop band, you can hook that around your foot. Press that leg straight up in the air and then use that towel to pull it down toward your body. All right, open that left leg up to the left side, creating almost a 90 degree angle with your straight leg. You might look like some sort of police rendering at this point. And then lastly, take that left leg and cross it over your body one more time. Oh, good work. We're gonna be flipped over, flipped over to a high plank. Let's start just with a high plank hold. And then we'll start to add in some variations in the next round. So the new world record for the plank, if you didn't see it, nine hours and 30 minutes. Two on that, great. All right, next, next plank. Next plank, you're just gonna raise your feet uh, your kick, heel toward the ceiling, leg raises. Great. Good work. Next round, let's bring our knees up to the outside of our elbow. Great. Good work. Now we'll bring our knee up toward our chest, but across to the opposite shoulder or opposite elbow. Go. Great. All right, two more planks here. Let's do shoulder taps. Alternating shoulder taps. Go. Great. All right, option, you're gonna lift and extend 
Your left hand, right leg. Balancing. Raising opposite hand, opposite foot. Great. Good work here on your back. We're going to start with a runner sit up. So that's where knees are bent. As I sit up, I'm just going to tap one heel. Another sit up and then tap the other heel. Just always modify these to a crunch if you need it. There shouldn't be any neck pain or neck strain. Last round of crunches, or last round of core, I should say. All right, we've got just a uh, oblique twist now. So knees are bent, you're rocking your torso, left side, right side. Whew. Twenty seconds. Ten. Great. On your feet. On your feet, we've got squats with that cross knee up. Whew. Go. Great. Round two. So, I don't know if it's still happening today, but I saw just as I was going to bed last night a promo that old baby was running half off there, like tights and bike shorts and stuff. So if you needed an excuse to go buy more active wear, there you go. Break. I did not need an excuse, so I was, I resisted temptation, but I did like that like this. Round three, go. Who wears these colored leggings though? People who don't sweat, clearly. Not I. Nobody wants to see me looking like pee pants walking down the street. Most especially me. Break. Three more. Black. Not a problem. <laughs> Go. Right, core in. Great. Good work. Two more. Go. Great. One more. Two, three, 
Great. Last one. Maybe getting a little heavy by this point. Go. Great. Sit that way to slide. Take your one arm across your body. Other side. Good. Press your elbow overhead. Other side. Reach your fingertips up and press out to a goal post. Good, I think most of y'all are seated with me. Butterfly, your feet together, knees apart. Drive your heels in toward your body and then press your knees down. Press forward and hit those inner thighs. And step your feet apart. Straddle, sit. Hinge forward to your left side. Hinge toward your right side. Hinge toward the center. Good, let's finish just with a spinal twist. So draw your feet together, pike out in front of you. And then take one foot, cross it over the other. Twist your opposite elbow, press into that knee. Good work, hit the other side. Happy Thursday. Good work. Time to start our day.